What's going on boys, it is Boyaka Pone. Today we actually have a tutorial on how to get zero input delay in Fortnite. As you can see boys, I got the haircut bro. Spam in the comments bro, WRL bro. I promise you guys, it does not look this bad IRL guys. I swear to you guys, it does not look this bad IRL. Today guys, I'm gonna have two sections of this video. One, this first section that I'm gonna do is how to reduce input delay like in the Fortnite game. And then second, it's gonna be P uh, like um PC exclusive tips for you guys that are on PC and wanna change some stuff to your PC and not in Fortnite. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with Fortnite. Just go ahead and go to the settings right here, guys. If you guys are on a, a decent GPU, like a 1650 or up, I recommend you guys definitely do uh, higher epic textures. That just helps your GPU power through, and it'll help you get less input delay. And especially for Fortnite, guys, if you really want the lowest input delay, go for low meshes. If you want, like, a bit mix of both which i like put it on high meshes but definitely have it on performance but if you want good input delay and higher fps uh and don't have dx11 or dx12 okay dokie boys for this one make sure your matchmaking region is the lowest one you can just see right here just hover over it go onto the side 35 35 44 as you can see it goes higher and higher so make sure you are on uh the correct server don't put it on auto make sure not put it on auto make sure you actually have a server selected otherwise sometimes fortnite will do the a worse server and you're gonna be messed up as you can see right here if you guys do scroll down down, record replays off record large team replays off record creative mode replays all off you don't want any of these on just because they're gonna take up uh, another task in the background and you're gonna have stuff recording in the background and it'll just more delay uh, to your game and everything it's, it's just terrible for this HUD scale guys honestly I'm not sure if this really works but I've heard that if you the lower you put this the less input delay you get since the HUD scale is your uh, like your inventory your mats all this stuff on your screen can add um to your input delay so i don't know if you want to make it the lowest you might get the better input delay i'm not actually too sure for sound right here guys you just want to have this right here um visualize sound effects off and you also want sound quality on low just because this reduces a little more input delay and if you're trying to get zero input delay this is what you got to do okay boys that is it for fortnite let's go ahead and move on to the pc exclusive tips this is going to be a short video today because these are the tips that help me the most there might be even more out there but these are the tips that help me the most let's go ahead and get into it okie dokie boys right here i am on my desktop what you are going to want to do guys go ahead go on the search bar i mean not the search bar what you are gonna want to do guys is go uh the windows key and r hold at the same time type in percent temp percent and then click ok once you're here these are basically all the temporary files uh that your computer uses i've already cleared it before you're probably gonna have like 2000 in here or something i only have 100 for now whenever you open something like right now i actually have obs open so there's probably temporary files running in the background right now what i do is click on one of the files click Control a right click and then delete and you're probably gonna have a message like this pop up like uh that can couldn't be completed because it's in another program um so right now you gotta click on do this for all current items and then you just want to skip and it'll do it for everything to skip 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 so many items and then what we want to do is right click on recycle bin then empty recycle bin and you should be all chilling from there you know, was i want to talk about something real quick before i get into the last like two little tip thingies uh timer resolution and independent standby list cleaner i feel like so they're okay if you really want to use them you can but really i don't oh you guys can't even see it it's right here i prefer not to use it just because whenever i use it my game gets more choppy i can definitely feel a decrease in input delay but the game feels more choppy fps wise so if you want input to uh more i mean less less input delay instead of uh higher fps or whatever that you can run those but yeah i'm just go ahead and go on to the next tip so what you want to do here is go all the way down here click type in graphic settings it'll probably automatically search it right there you guys can't see it because of my face cam i'll go ahead and remove it real quick so right here guys graphic settings i might as well just take it off for the right take the face cam off for the rest of the video until the end guys but here we go graphic settings click enter what we're gonna want to do guys you guys don't have any of these things right here we're gonna click browse and then from here guys i already have it open but you want to go to your c drive or wherever you installed fortnite on uh for c drive you just go to here program files epic games fortnite fortnite game uh sorry if i'm going a little bit too fast there is the path on top right here you can see the little things i'm clicking um then binaries win 64 and then you want to click the one with the largest size as you can see uh this is 310 
and 1,700. This one is obviously the biggest since it says 162,000. So go ahead and click that and you should be all good to go. And since it says it's already added, I can't add anything or whatever, but you will have it right here. You just want to click on this once you're done and then click options. And then you want to gonna click high performance and then click save and you should be all good to go guys. That's how you lower the input delay for that. Okay, boys, you're gonna go down here again to the bottom left. Go ahead and go here, click, I mean, type in mouse you're going to want to go here you're going to want to scroll down click additional mouse options you're going to pull this up right here let me just increase the size now i can't and then right here you're going to want to go to pointer options right here you're going to want to move this it's going to be like on whatever you might not have uh it might be like on the lowest or whatever you want to move it all the way to the sixth one so as you can see there there's the ticks right here one two three four five six move it all the way to the sixth one and it should be good okay boys you're going to want to go down here just go to keyboard right here there we go and then uh you want this to be on the third mark right here and then this all the way on fast and then you should be good from there guys okay boys and girls hope you guys did enjoy this video i know it's probably only like a three to four minute video right now but it's okay guys because i did show you some essential tips you guys need to know for more fps lower input delay and yeah so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video remember i'm gonna put this on the screen right now you support a creator code Docapo underscore fed right there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.